Good evening, I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with another tropical update on this Sunday, August 27th. We have some new information from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Idalia as well as Hurricane Franklin. And of course, we're expecting a tropical wave to move off the west coast of Africa in the coming days. But what has our very close eye is Tropical Storm Idalia quickly strengthening. Now a 60 mile per hour winds, pressures at 992 millibars. The next new track will come out at 4 a.m. But just in the past few hours, it has strengthened quickly, now expecting hurricane impacts to portions of western Cuba in the within the next 24 hours. So Pinar del Rio on the west side of Cuba previously had a tropical storm warning that was upgraded to a hurricane warning and just the past few hours. Then we'll push off to the north, quickly strengthening over the very warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. This is 7 p.m. Tuesday, 110 mile per hour winds. You know, notice this cone stretches as far south as Tampa Bay and through the Big Bend as well. So all this area definitely needs to keep a close watch of this. But again, impacts can be felt even outside of the cone and this cone can still shift over time Then we'll quickly weaken over land and then push back into the Atlantic Ocean as a tropical storm, lower wind speeds by the back half of the week. But again, we talked about quickly strengthening. There's very warm waters over the Gulf of Mexico into the mid to upper 80s. That's what's helping to fuel these tropical systems to strengthen very quickly when they push over the Gulf of Mexico. Also, the chance of tropical storm force winds is getting higher and higher, especially for those areas included in that cone of uncertainty, very likely just off the west coast of Florida. So that's why storm surge impacts will be greater on really down through the Big Bend and all the way through Areas just off Tampa Bay and down through even as far south as Fort Myers uh, could see some storm surge there as well. Not as great as the ones in the, the storm surge in the Big Bend, but still could see some strong storm surge. And um, tropical storm force winds are still going to be felt outside of this area, outside of the cone, as far west as Panama City and Apalachicola. Of course, the cone can change over time, but expecting some impacts there. Hurricane Watch is already issued for a good portion of the Big Bend of Florida down through Tampa Bay. And also tropical storm watches also issue. Those will get upgraded over time, especially if this becomes a hurricane. Storm surge watches also issued 7 to 11 feet storm surge expected for parts of the Big Bend. So storm surge is going to be a big issue there. Here's what to expect, though. Still uncertain about the track. This could change over time. We do know that a high risk for upcurrents is expected here on our stretch of the Gulf Coast Tuesday through Thursday. Anyway, as far west as the coastline of Jackson County and Mississippi and as far east as Destin, Florida, going to have a high risk for rip currents and a rough surf Tuesday through Thursday as this system moves to the Gulf of Mexico. Also tracking Hurricane Franklin, strengthening quickly as well. You see the eye reforming now. The good news is this will, again, move away from uh, the United States and not bring any impacts to, our, uh, to, to the United States or the Gulf Coast. And it will weaken over time as it quickly moves off to the northeast. Also, we talked about that tropical wave that's expected to move off the west coast of Africa. It has a little bit higher of a chance now, but still a low chance over the next several days. But again, we'll continue to watch this over time, and we'll give you any updates on that tropical system over time. Hurricane Map Room is always open for you to use. It gives our current information on the new track that we have from the National Hurricane Center and more tropical information on what to expect at different times of the season. So you can go to there. It's on WKRG.com and get all the latest tropical information. I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner, WKRG News 5.